Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to design prime hydration hero section design and animation in Figma. So let's get started. So as you can see I have already prepared the design system for this design. Uh, I have set up the typography, uh, color palette, button style logo and all the images. Uh, so I al already prepared uh, the content also and menu items and the background image. So let's get started with the design. First I will uh, select the frame tool and I will pick this MacBook Pro 14 inch like this and i will change the name like this and i will add a uh, layered grid click on this plus icon and i will set this column and i will make the count 12 and the margin on 5 6 and greater is 30 and i will change the color like this now i will add a background color of this uh, frame so i will add this back dark color like this and i will add the images now so I just drag and drop my images like this. Now I will lock this. Now I will decrease this image opacity like this. Now I will add the header items. So I will copy the logo from my design system and I will place like this. Uh, I will add 40 pixel on the top. Now I will add the menu items. So I just duplicate it like this. Now I will place somewhere like here and make them center and I will add the icons so i prepared so just i need to duplicate it and i'll place somewhere here uh, i'll change the uh, layout grid color little bit so i can see like this now i will add this icon somewhere here so now i'll select everything and select this icon make the middle and press ctrl g and i'll add like 40 on the top now i'll change the group name to header and i'll lock them like this now i'll add the images and the shape so for the shape uh, press R on the keyboard and I'll draw a shape like here like this and I'll double click on it and select this two on the top and I'll move around here like this now I will double click again and select this corner and I will make it like this now I'll change the color of this one so first I will use this uh, ice pop uh, prime so I already set up the color plate so I just need to grab it from here so I'll first make it linear gradient and place it like here and here now I'll change the color quickly so I already prepared the color so I just need to copy it from my design system so I'll use the first color is red and the second color I will use this blue color like this now I'll I will make it behind of this my header like here so now I will add our first images so I quickly copy it from my design system and I will place somewhere here I'll make the bottom 19 pixel space like this and the right side should be 240 like this now I will add the contents and everything now so I already prepared the content so I just need to duplicate it and I'll place somewhere here like here now I'll add the buttons or I I just need to duplicate again and place it somewhere here i'll add 36 from the top like this now i will add a prime to the bottom so to do that i will add a rectangle for this press r on the keyboard and drag a rectangle like this i'll make it height 240 240 like this i'll select this one and i'll add border radius to only this corner so i'll select this one and i'll add 50 uh, border radius to this side and I'll, I'll make this color to this white color and I'll decrease the opacity a little bit 40 maybe like this and I'll add effect and background blur of 20 pixel like this now I'll add a stroke to this so I will add 2 pixel of stroke and make it white color and I'll decrease the opacity a little bit like this now I'll move it to 2 pixel to bottom so and left 2 pixel also like this this looks good now I'll lock this now I'll add the other items so I'll select this and duplicate from my design system and drag and drop here now I'll place them like here like this now I'll unlock this uh, rectangle and I'll make it a little bit smaller somewhere like this uh, and I'll select all of them and make them auto layout and I'll add 40 pixel like this now I'll select this and make them group so press ctrl G to group them and I'll add some space from the top like this so our first prime slide is ready so I first make them uh, stack together so to do that I'll use all the other uh, slides image so I just need to duplicate it and I'll place somewhere here around 
220 like this also the third one like this now i'll add the prime text so i duplicate it and i will make it on the top and i'll add 70 to the right like this now i select this and make them send middle and group them like this now i'll make them behind like here now i'll select everything and make them a frame selection like this and i'll change the name to prime group like this and now i'll do now I'll select the frame and i'll press the control on my keyboard and drag it the frame like here like this now i'll select the frame and make it clip content like this now, now i'll drag this frame and to my main uh, design like here like this now i will make them behind so select this frame and make them behind something like this now i'll duplicate uh, two two more so just first i'll change this uh, frame name to one and i will duplicate it another time like this and i will duplicate on more so select this and duplicate on more and place them something like here like this now i'll change change the text and the images quickly so I, so i quickly change the text so i already changed the text uh, so now i'll change the image so to do that uh, select this all of these three images uh, so first i will go to the my frame 2 and i'll select now i'll select this image and i'll select shift and hold all of them like this and now i'll press shift and uh, up arrow to bring them on the top like this now i'll select this and like this now i will change the color of this frame so select this uh, shape uh, rectangle and i will change the color from my design system so i'll ch change the color select this first color and i'll pick this uh, blue color and i'll change the second color to this light blue color like this and i'll change the direction to the color like here like this or maybe i can change this color to this this looks cool so i'll do like this so now i'll go to the third frame so i'll select this one and i'll do select both of them all the images and press shift and up arrow to move them up like this i'll down little bit this image like this now it quickly change the uh, background color so select this one and i'll select my color from my design system from the top i'll use this color and the bottom i'll use this red color like this yep this looks great now i'll mix this out so everything is looks great now i'll do one more thing so when this is uh, the first one is selected i will make it little bit bigger so i will select this one and press shift uh, and all together to make it little bit bigger like this uh, i'll make them i'll ungroup the auto layout and i'll select this one now and i'll make it on 60 like this now i'll select both of them all of them and make them auto layout again press shift a now i'll add 40 pixel from the between now i'll make them center like this now i'll do um, all of them for uh, the same thing uh, one more thing i'll make 20 pixel to the bottom like this and make sure this is bottom like this now i'll quickly change uh, all of them so i have changed all of them so as you can see our all the design is ready so let's click on this prototype option now and i'll select the first uh, frame and link to the second and make them on drag uh, drag uh, navigate to two and the um, animation is smart animate and ease out is good and i'll make 1000 millisecond like this so click on this second frame and i'll add the third uh, frame like this and everything is looking good just make sure it is on track now i'll select the third one and i'll add them to the first one and everything is good just track make sure this is on track and it's not in which is good so now i'll select the this one and sorry this one and i'll add the second like this on click navigate to everything is fine and this one i'll make link to this third one and on click navigate to everything is great now i'll select this one and i'll link to the first one on click navigate to one and look this is good and i'll select this one and i'll navigate to this now i'll select this one and i'll navigate to this one and also the first one like this one more thing i miss out is the uh, five star icon so i quickly add this to the design so i already prepared the five star icon so i just duplicate from my design system and add this to my design like this so i quickly add this to all the frames so i have added the five star icons to all the frames and our design is almost ready so let's preview it so when you drag everything is changed perfectly 
as you can see when i drag this change the image and text and if we, and if we click this one of them this make little bit bigger and also this changing perfectly so this is how you animate your design in figma as you can see the prime hydration hero section design and animation is ready i uh, hope you guys like my work don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and see you on the next video bye